the iOS app lifecycle, there are five different states that an app may be in. When we load an app onto our device and we're not running it, it is in the not running state. We first load it on or it's, or it's been closed and now we want to launch it. When we launch it, it goes from not running to an active state. It's in the forefront of our device. We can interact with it. Sometimes though, an event may occur that that active state moves into an inactive state, such as when we get a phone call on an iPhone. The phone call takes precedence. That app becomes inactive for a few seconds and then moves into the background state while we're taking that phone call. But let's say we choose not to answer the phone call. That app will move, that app will move back into the active state. In a background state, some apps may still be doing things such as a text messaging app may be receiving text messages even though it's not active. A music app may still be playing music in the background. So there are things that an app can do in the background, but apps that aren't doing something move into a suspended state. There's no activity whatsoever, but it's still in memory. We don't have a way typically to exit a program directly from the application itself. We don't have an exit button like we might have uh, in a desktop application. And so as your device needs more memory, it often may choose to move a device from the suspended state into the not running state to retrieve that, that memory space. And an app that's in the background state or suspended state may become active again when we bring it back to the forefront. So there's a, a concern with moving from these various states in that if you have live data or you've made system settings in your application and you haven't saved those, there's a risk of losing that information. So this is called persistence. We want to make sure our data is persistent. And so there are various events that occur with each one of these moving from state to state situations that we can handle. And those events are handled in the app delegate.swift file, which is in all of our projects. We've seen it in every project so far, just haven't done much with it. We've coded primarily in the view controller.swift or other uh, controller.swift files or Swift class files. But if we wanted to handle one of these states, that would occur in the app delegate.swift file. When we launch an app, when it becomes active in our device, it triggers an event called did finish launching with options. We might want to write some code that would do something when that app first starts up. When an app moves from the active to inactive, there's a very brief application will resign active that we might do something, although it's a very short window. And we're moving from inactive to background there's the application did enter background. And this is typically where we might want to do some automatic saving of data or of settings. Moving from the inactive to active, there's an application to become active. And that same event is triggered moving from background or suspended to active, along with the application will enter foreground. There are stubs for each of these events in the app delegate.swift. Uh, we can just add some code to it. Here is the app delegate.swift file that is created for us when we, when we start up a new project. And you can see there are stubs here for the various events that are triggered for moving from state to state. And if we wanted to have something happen when, the, when those events occur, we, we just simply need to add code here. So we're going to focus in on this application did enter background. It says in the comments here, use this method to release shared resources, save user data, invalidate timers, and store enough application state information to restore your application to its current state in case it is terminated later. So this is a key place in this application did enter background stub to save any unsaved data that we might want to, to reinstate upon launching a, a subsequent time. In the previous lesson, we created an application in which we saved the color of the background color of our app and a message to core data by clicking the Save Settings button. So we can save this information and if our 
application, after we've clicked save, went into the background, which I'm simulating on the simulator here by going to the home screen. And then it terminated. And we were to relaunch our application. Those settings were saved. Well, let's say we make some changes here. And we're simulating like putting this into the background. Let's say we got a phone call and the application went into the background. Then for some reason it went into a non-running state. Maybe the, the phone needed the memory space. And we were to launch it again. You would see that our, our settings were not saved because we didn't click the Save Settings button. So we want to automatically save this information using an app delegate. So I'm here in the app delegate.swift file. We have a var window UI window uh, variable up here at the top that's there by default. We're going to create another variable. We're just going to call it VC. And this is going to be a view controller. We'll use these variables in our application did enter background. We're going to set VC equal to window dot root con view controller. So that's going to be our view controller dot swift file and, and the associated uh, storyboard with that. And we're going to specify that's an optional view controller. Now, if you remember back in our previous project, in our view controller swift file, we had a function that we created called save settings. And I've gone back to there and I made this public. So it's public function, meaning it can be accessed by other uh, class files. So we're going to access this save settings to run this code to save our background color and our message uh, from the app delegate. I'm going to take my VC variable, which is a view controller, optional view controller. I'm going to unwrap that. And then I'm going to access that save settings function that we wrote in the viewcontroller.swift file. And you'll notice in the uh, help that comes up here, it's recognizing that method. And that's the extent of my code. I'm going to launch this again. And as we did before, I'm going to change the background color. We will change the message here. I'm not going to click the Save Settings button. Instead, I'm going to simulate this going into the background. I'm going to terminate it from Xcode and relaunch it. So we didn't save the purple. We didn't save the Welcome to SMCC. But yet the application did enter background uh, method called the Save Settings method and resulted in that data being saved and then being restored um, in, our, in our load function when we relaunch the application. And just to see that load function, I'm going to go back to viewcontroller.swift. And this is happening in the view did load. So here's where we're retrieving the data from the core data, just as we did in the previous lesson.